beautiful scenery. Something that I do when I'm traveling road that I'm not particularly familiar with, and because I don't rely on my memory. On the way out here, uh, I watched for places to stop and wrote down the exit numbers and what was at the exit numbers on a little pad of paper I, I keep on the, on the driver's passenger seat there. I used to, I used to put that info into a little tape recorder here, but my tape recorder died, but that would work too. Uh, just because I don't, you know, I'll, I'll get down here and then I'm going back the same way and I don't remember where everything was and I don't know the road well enough. And, uh, but I want to, you know, be able to say, oh, look at it, one exit, uh, there was a place to eat, truck parking. I'll just look it up on my little path that I wrote down and, and uh, it's a good thing to have to know the exits where you're traveling, especially if you get into a blizzard or something like that, you're looking for a safe place to park to get out of the storm. You know that, well, if I get off at exit 191, I remember seeing truck parking there at a little restaurant. So that's what I've done on the way out here, right down the different exits and what was, what was there in case I went back the same way, and now I am. So I just looked on my on my little cheat notes there to see where that truck stop was in Woodstock, and it's exit 191 on the way back. So now I'll I'll know where I'm stopping for my coffee in the back of the paper. Just a just a little trick. I also am uh, thinking here that uh, we're going to get into Montreal just in time for Friday night rush hour traffic. So I marked down a, a little spot with truck parking just on the east side of Montreal. And I think what I'll do is I'll go in there and spend the night rather than three Friday night rush hour in Montreal and Recalculating. then go in early Saturday morning uh, when there's no Please traffic. To highlight it. One of the biggest scares I got in my trucking career, I was out in British Columbia when I was a young man and the weather had been nice and I was in the Rockies with a, a set of A-trains delivered into uh, Revelstoke, British Columbia in the mountains. And I was empty. And I was headed back to Calgary. The weather had been nice above freezing. It was winter time, but it was above freezing. And, and the snow had melted off the, off the mountains and run down across the highway. And even though it was late afternoon, I came around a curve on uh, on Donnell Hill. I'll never forget it. And Donnell Hill had shaded the road from the sun, and all the water that had run across the road at Donnell Hill had frozen and turned into a skating rink. And I came around the corner, dropped down on the hill, looked over. There was a guy all chained up going west, and I thought, what the hell's he doing? And the next minute, I. I know I'm starting to go sideways, and I, I was driving an old Mac, a 300R model Mac. They had the Dynatard, which weren't much good, and I, I flipped on the Dynatard. As weak as it was, the wheels locked up and installed the motor. I restarted the truck and got it all straightened out again. Bumped the, bumped the Dynatard into a weaker position, fired it up again, and I fought that truck all the way down the hill. And, I got it to the bottom safely, but it was it was more luck than skill, and that was a long hill. That Donald Hill was oh a couple miles down with a hard left and a river at the bottom. And I thought for sure at one point I was trying to decide whether I should bail or not because I was pretty sure I was going to go off the bridge and drop into the river at the bottom of the hill. And I, I didn't jump, and I made it around the corner, but it scared the heck out of me anyway. And the whole road was ice the rest of the way into Golden Golden BC. So I, oh, I think I traveled the rest of the way from Donald Hill to the Golden in about third year, third year with my wheels on the shoulder. Got off on the service road at, at uh, Golden, BC, and the service roads were banked at the time, and I, I parked on the high side, 
dynamited the truck, the whole thing, truck and both trailers, then slid slowly to the low side of the service road and it stopped. And I literally crawled on my hands and knees over to the hotel and got a room for the night. And that was it for me and it was that was a scary ride. I never forgot it. And it just it just goes to show you how quickly something can come upon you. I was on dry pavement. I came around the corner, it was a sunny day, and all of a sudden there was clear ice and I hadn't been expecting it. It caught me by surprise and it could have killed me. interesting to see that in the Montreal traffic, although I'm hoping not to hit very much of it. It's fairly early Saturday morning, so I'm hoping it, I'm ahead of it here anyway. Got the logbook running, I think we're ready to go. 